Welcome from beautiful sunny Spain. I hope to see you at Madrid later this year for ESMO 2014. My name is uh, Professor Johan de Bono. I'm a professor of cancer medicine at the Royal Marsden Hospital and the Institute of Cancer Research in London. The Congress team at ESMO 2014 is precision medicine and cancer care. We're very excited about the potential that the next generation technologies for uh, sequencing the cancer genome and the normal cell genome is actually allowing us to really see for the very first time almost like a prism diffracting white light into multiple beautiful colors, a real detail of what causes cancer and how we can cure this disease. So why precision medicine? Well, we believe this technology is allowing us to develop trials that are smarter, better, giving us more hope to improve cancer care and also uh, precision because we want to really impact our patients uh, better, de de delivering drugs at better doses um, at, um, to the right patient in a better way, minimizing side effects and maximizing benefit to the patient. Why not personalized? Well, the personalized uh, care paradigm is also important. The two really go together. But I think what we really want to do is, de is uh, deliver better cancer care in a more precise way. And the word precise actually encompasses um, a more broad aspect of delivery of treatment. I really believe that ESMO 14 will guide many oncologists and physicians from all around the world, not just Europe, to actually move this uh, treatment paradigm forward. So how will this theme of precision medicine and cancer care be reflected in the ESMO 2014 program? We have a number of outstanding key opinion leaders that have really led the field in uh, the Human Genome Project, in the sequencing, the whole genome sequencing of, ca of many cancers. Uh, speaking at the meeting, we have a number of um, really outstanding uh, major plenaries focusing on this theme and also a major focus on trying to really deliver more precise immunotherapy, biomarker-driven immunotherapy. And I think overall this is really going to be a very exciting ESMO this year. So why does the program contain so much immunotherapy? Immunotherapy today, particularly immunotherapy related to uh, the targeting of checkpoints, immune checkpoints, is showing huge promise in cancer treatment, particularly with regards to drugs targeting CTLA4, PD-1, PD-L1. So this is really a very exciting time in the field with increasing evidence of uh, major benefit to cancer patients. So why are we focused on this? Well, this is a huge area in the field that's um, really exploding. Can we truly deliver more precise immunotherapy? The answer is we believe we have to do this but actually more data is required on how to select patients for immunotherapy, how to optimally develop these drugs for, with regards to pharmacodynamic biomarkers, optimizing um, drug dosing. So a lot of questions still need to be addressed. And these will be discussed in detail in ESMO 2014 in Madrid. So what are the highlights of the program for ESMO 14 in Madrid? We are going to have some really fabulous keynote speakers focusing on the Cancer Genome Atlas and how this can guide drug development and clinical trials and improving cancer care. We are going to have a wealth of uh, trial data and preclinical data on immunotherapy. And I think these really will be a major benefit for the community, the cancer community, and will help us accelerate cancer research progress in the years ahead. I think we'll also have a number of positive phase three trials that could change the field presented at this meeting, which I'm particularly excited about and uh, which I invite you to come and listen to uh, in, in Madrid. So why should investigators present their data, their best data, ESMO 2014? Well, ESMO is now one of the highlights of the cancer uh, research calendar people from all over the world presenting their data and uh, it really has become a superb meeting and I think it's the, it's the perfect place to present the best cancer research data both preclinical and clinical. So we really believe that you should bring your very best data to ESMO and if uh, you are coming to ESMO we uh, welcome you because we believe we're going to have a fantastic program with some of the most outstanding presentations that could truly impact the care of our cancer patients.